Let's solve some literal equations today. So what are literal equations? They are equations that contain multiple variables. So they're formulas, okay? You might have seen a lot of formulas in geometry. Our goal when we're solving literal equations is to rearrange the given formula and solve for a single variable. So this is in our equations unit because our, our goal is the same get a variable all by itself. And in order to do this, we're still gonna use our inverse operations to undo the equation. Okay, I like to think about when you're building an equation, what are you doing? You, if you're multiplying and then adding, what do I need to do to undo that equation? Well, I need to think about PEMDAS backwards. So when we're building an equation, we use our order of operations, everything in the parentheses first, then we do exponents, then we simplify our multiplication and division, then our addition and subtraction. When we undo it, we go, we think PEMDAS backwards, and we use inverse operations. So that's what we're gonna do today. And these are typically very difficult for students, so if you struggle with this, just know that you're not alone. So in this first example, it says d equals rt, and we're going to solve for r. So let's get r all by itself. So I'm going to use the same little strategies that I've done, I've used in my other videos. To get r all by itself, well, that's r times t. How do I get rid of that t? Well, I'm going to divide by it. If that's r times t, I'm going to use the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. That gets rid of that. I'm left with r by itself equals d over t, right? So this is my answer. A lot of students really don't like this as your answer because they're kind of ugly answers, if you will, and you just have to be okay with that. So distance divided by time equals rate. Let's look at number two, y equals mx plus b. So that's m times x plus b. We wanna get b all by itself. Well, this is mx plus b. So this is a term right here, m times x. I can get rid of that entire term. How do I do that? Well, it's plus mx. How can I undo plus mx? I'm gonna subtract mx. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So now I'm left with b equals, and then we just follow our rules. You can only combine terms if they're alike. So they have, we have the same variables and exponents to go with those variables. Do we have like terms here? Are y and negative mx like terms? They're not, so you can't combine them. So it's y minus mx equals b. Let's go on to number three. m over d equals v, and I wanna solve for m. So m is in my numerator, and it's really important to note that. So if I'm reading this equation, m divided by d equals v. I wanna get rid of that divided by d. How do I get rid of divided by d? I multiply by d. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. I'm just following my rules, right? These are just all the rules that you've heard me say over and over and over again. So m, if I divide by d, then multiply d, those cancel. I'm left with m equals d times v. Okay, and I'm just writing in alpha order because that's what you're supposed to do, which if you don't, I'm sure your teacher won't take off for it. So number four, this is really advanced. So here's our formula for area of a trapezoid, and we want to rearrange it so that this b sub 1 is all by itself on one side of the equal sign. So if I've got something in parentheses that I need to get all by itself, I really need to get rid of everything else first. So let's get rid of this one half first. How do I undo times one half? I'm gonna multiply by two. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And I'm gonna rewrite this. 2a equals, those cancel, b1 plus b2 times h. Okay, and now I need to get rid of that times h. Then I'll have what's inside the parentheses all by itself on one side of the equal sign. So how do I do that? 
I divide by h. Okay, so 2a divided by h equals base 1 plus base 2. Okay, so I've now gotten rid of the parentheses because I have only what was inside the parentheses left. So now I get, need to get rid of this plus b sub 2. What do I do? I subtract it. And here's where students get really uncomfortable. So now, what do I have left on this left side? And I'm actually going to rewrite it over here. 2a divided by h minus b sub 2 equals b sub 1. And that's your answer. And you leave it just like that. Let's look at number 5. m equals x minus y divided by 4. And I'm asked to get x all by itself. I'm asked to solve for x. And x is in my numerator. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of what's in that denominator. So how do I get rid of divided by 4? To undo it, I multiply by 4 and then what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Those cancel and I'm left with 4m equals x minus y. And now to get x all by itself, I got to get rid of that minus y. So what do I do? I add y. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Are they like terms? Nope. So you can't combine them. Again, we're just following the rules that we've learned. If you just follow the rules, how good of a rule follower are you? Some of you are like, not very good. Well, you might struggle with this a little bit. So number six, we're solving for h. We're going to get h all by itself. So if I have a fraction or any number in there, like all of this is multiplication, right? One third times pi times r squared times h. So if, if everything is multiplied together to undo it, I would divide by anything that I want to get rid of. Well, since I have a coefficient that's a fraction here, the first thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of that one third. So how do I get rid of that one third? I multiply by the reciprocal flip it that's three what i do to one side i have to do to the other so i'm left with three times v equals that cancels pi r squared times h now i'm left with only variables on the right side and i'm asked to get h all by itself so again they're all multiplied together so i can divide by everything that i want to get rid of i want to get rid of pi i want to get rid of r squared and then what i do to one side I have to do to the other. The pi's cancel, the r squareds cancel. I'm left with h equals three times v divided by pi r squared. So all I've done is rearrange this formula to get h all by itself, okay? So looking at number seven, this is huge for algebra one. I see this formula everywhere. What is the formula? P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Well, it's for the perimeter of a rectangle, and we're asked to solve for L. So L, there's two terms here, right? Terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So I have this term and I have this term. I can't do anything with that term that the L is in until I get rid of the other term. So how would I get rid of the plus 2W? I would move it over by subtracting 2w. You just keep it together. The whole thing stays together. They're not like terms, so can we combine them? No. p minus 2w equals 2 times l. So now we're left with that one term on the right side. And now how are the 2 and the l connected? They're connected by multiplication. So how am I going to get rid of that 2 so that the l is all by itself? I'm going to undo it by dividing. I divide by what I want to get rid of. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other, and I have to do to everything. Everything gets divided by two. Whatever's on the other side, the entire thing gets divided by two. So your answer is p minus 2w divided by 2 equals l. Okay, and here we go. Let's go on to number eight. Number eight, E equals MC squared, and we're asked to solve for C. So what do you notice that's different about this one? Save this one for last. 
c is raised to the power of 2. Okay, so this is m times c squared. The first thing I want to do is get c squared all by itself. So what am I going to do? I'm going to divide by m, and I get e divided by m equals c squared. And now I'm going to change colors here. So now when we undo raising a number to the second power or squaring a number to undo that, to cancel it out, I take the square root of it, right? Think about if I have three squared, okay, what is that? That's nine. Well, what happens if I then take the square root of it? Well, the square root of nine is three. These cancel and I'm just left with what I started, which means this square root and this square will cancel so that I'm left with C all by itself, okay? So what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. The only thing is when you're solving an equation and, you're, and you take the square root of both sides, your answer is actually either positive or negative, E over M equals C. And then if you're given some type of word problem, which eventually you will, then you'll determine, okay, am I taking the positive square root or am I taking the negative square root for this particular situation? But when you're just solving, your answer is positive or negative square root of E over M equals C. And that concludes your notes over literal equations. I hope it was helpful.